Well, the UK vision strategy is first of all very good and inspirational also for other countries. It's going very well. There's lots of people here. We've got about 500 in the audience and the conversation so far, it's early in the day, but there's lots of buzz, lots of talking, lots of exchange of information. If you try and tell people about the strategy and they're all in their individual places of work or their home, it wouldn't have the same effect as having one national conference where you really tell people about the strategy. At the moment the delegates are debating how we make the UK vision strategy, how we take it from being a strategic plan into an action plan, because that's what really matters, to make the change happen on the ground. The workshops enable people to have a chance to directly say how the strategy should be implemented. People are learning off each other, finding out about other what's happening in other professions, what's happening in other areas. And it's that sharing, that networking, that increasing understanding that really helps us to go forward. It's a pretty wide-ranging conference and for them to want to come to the conference is a, is a good thing and to hear what's being done and, and what's being developed. We're part of a much bigger scene with the WHO, the World Health Assembly, Vision 2020, the right to sight. We can see there are issues which can be improved or issues which can be um, made more perfect for the populations uh, in, in affluent countries. And it's, it's very important to realize that opportunity and also little missing gaps or, or imperfections in the service provision, in the logistical part of them, in, in, in infrastructure where we can still accomplish a lot. It's to inspire people to aim at the best attainable target. It was getting people to think about working together, to realize the benefits of working together. And that is really fantastic to see how that's grown, to see how people from the sight loss world are realizing that actually eye health people have a lot to offer and vice versa. To see how we're beginning to build partners wider than our immediate sector. We now have so much more engagement with the GPs than we did five years ago. These are where we've gone to. We need to build further in the next five years. I think we all have to be realistic and things are changing the whole time because what's not preventable sight loss today will be tomorrow. Five years from now, we're going to be dealing with different issues, different problems. Hopefully we will have great reductions in the number of people with sight loss, but realistically there's going to be new challenges for us as a sector.